Darling? You're back? Yes, yeah, a long story. Coming. Just give me a minute. Don't come in here. I have a surprise. Mm, surprise? Hi. Hi. Two flights cancelled. Sent me home early for the weekend. After a ten-hour wait. And what's with the surprise? Well, I forgot your birthday last month. Oh, yeah. And... Well done. Should just take a couple of hours to connect. If you got any problems, you give me a call, yeah? Connect what? I'll tell you fortune. Second generation on your plasma TV. Did she not tell you? It's your the Premier League matches and five Champions League first round games. Oh, and I threw in a couple more things on me. But um, just don't tell anyone when I did that, yeah. See ya. Oh my god. How great are you? It's not my damn problem. You tell him, and money's not here by Friday. I'm closing this stupid store. Ela Maya. What do you want this time? Damn it, Alec. He's going to close the store. No, he's not. Relax. And what the hell happened yesterday? You left and never came back. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I, uh... I got caught up. You're the one that fixes the stuff. If you're not here, how do we make money? Oh, he quit. Is all we go? You are not betting that money. I'll go and let me ten more. No, Alec. Please. It's one horse, one race. Okay? I've got a winner. I've done it before. And you've lost everything before. No, seven to one. No one knows who runs like the wind. It's the last time. That's it. I quit. Come on, Amir. Don't do this. Amir! Look, I don't know what's happened to you, Alec. You changed. You're a good man. You need some help. I'm fine. I can fit. I'm here. Where's your other shoe? I'm uh, Alec Bailey. I got a phone call. Yes, right this way. I imagine you must have been quite surprised to get our call about meeting today. Yeah. I, uh... Seeing as you bounced five checks when you had your account here, not to mention your visa, which had to be cancelled twice because you managed somehow to keep ramping up charges. Well, look, I paid all that off, so why am I here? There is someone who is willing to eradicate all your debts. Is this a joke? It should be. It's not. Right. Who is this person? A family member. Ah, family member. Right. Well, both my parents are long dead, as is my only brother, and the last I heard of a relative was at my first communion, so how are you going to explain that? Well, this is an uncle you've never met. That's convenient. Mr. Raymond Heacock. Yeah, that, that's my mother's maiden name. 
Mm. Well, he will be at his private club. Table under his name, today at 1 p.m. Sharp. Thank you, Svetlana. Alec, sit down. Hungry? Uh, a little, yeah. Good. I've ordered you the escargot and the sole. They do it well here. I, he won't be having any, thank you. Oh, you must be curious. Ask away. You're my uncle. Indeed. Your dear mother was my sister. Then how, how come I've never heard of you? Sadly, we rarely spoke. There were a couple of things we couldn't agree on. Such as? That one I'm not prepared to answer. Uh, um, Bank said that you, you're going you're to give me all this money. Well, that's not exactly right. Can I be open with you? Sure. Frankly, you're a disgrace to the family. You have a gambling habit that'll either get you killed or at the very least maimed. You've never married and you're sleeping around as if you've just discovered your willy. As for your engineering degree, well, your business is a disaster. What am I doing here? Look, I'm prepared to pay off all your debts, every single one of them, which at this moment in time amount to exactly 88,950 pounds. So, you see, it's not all bad. Of course, I'll want something in exchange. What? I want you to move abroad, leave England. <laughs> leave England? Where? You'll be living in Nova Scotia. That's Canada, if you don't know where it is. Why? Well, we've had family living there for the past 200 years, and Frankly, we're, we're getting a bit thin on the ground. It's a tradition I want to maintain. Napkin. Thank you. 365 days, not a day less. And then if you're not happy, well, you can always return to England and pick up your debauched life where you left off. Oh, and by the way, you'll be leaving Monday. That's in two days? Yes. Hopefully, your friends won't kill you by then. Now, here's your ticket for Halifax. You'll be met at the airport by a man named Frederick. He's worked for me for a number of years. He looks after my house where you'll be staying. Now, there's work papers and a visa that lasts a year. How am I supposed to do that? You could always try working. Doing what? Not my problem, dear boy. So, Monday, 13.05, your plane leaves. Be on it or the deal is off. Now, I really must go. Enjoy your meal. It's all paid for. I'm really sorry about your brother. Such a shame. Oh, by the way, Alec, ever notice anything strange about yourself? Odd? Odd? Never mind. Good luck. So I say, you get the plane ticket, get it refunded, should be close to what you owe those Russians, and tell your uncle to bugger off. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm not going to rob my uncle. I only just met him. Besides, he's like the only family I've got. You checked, right? Can't get it refunded. Yeah, I checked. But that's besides the point. Oh, I'm not going to go to Canada. This is ridiculous. I reckon if Charlie was here, I'd tell you to go. You don't talk about my brother. Morning. I'm serious, you don't talk about Charlie. Okay, I'm sorry. Shit. Oh. So, Alec, we are playing Kambiro as friends, huh? It means you have the money for Mr. Mazik. Leave him alone, all right? It's gonna get you your bloody money.
I like playing games. Tell me your sins, my son. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we'll have to add doors to whatever else you confess. Just, I'm just hiding here, okay? This is a sacred sacrament. Get out. No, 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 please. They're they gonna kill me. Who, who wants to harm you? Nobody. Just... Just lower your voice. Now tell me what you've done. Oh, the money. What you stole? No. I yeah, have <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have to close now. This is the house of the Lord. I don't believe either one of you is praying, so be about your business elsewhere, please. Thanks. Stay for a while. Those men aren't going to go away just like that. Come here and tell me what's going on with you. Maybe I can give you some advice. Look, father, I just, uh... Sit down. You owe me this at least. Sit and talk. It seems your life is not going well, is it? I think you should move to Canada. I think it's God's way of giving you a second chance. Trust me, my uncle doesn't work for God. Let me tell you a story. No, please, Father, I'm gonna go. It's... There was this parish priest in a church, and the rain was so bad for months that the town was flooding, and people were forced to leave. But the priest said, God will save me, so he stayed behind. Now, when the water was up to his waist, they sent in the police to evacuate him. And then they sent in the firemen and the army with a boat. And always he refused, believing that God would be the one to save him. And so he drowned. <laughs> and when he come face to face with God, he complained. He said, God, why did you abandon me? And God said, I sent the police and the firemen and even the army with a boat, but still you would not listen. I think God sent your uncle. Go to Canada. <laughs> Bless me. I'm Frederick. Welcome to Nova Scotia. So, uh, are, you, are you from Nova Scotia? Yeah. And uh, how, how long have you known my uncle? 43 years. <laughs> I uh, only just met him.
So there's a few things about this house you should know. Sometimes the furnace breaks down. Let me know if it does, but don't kick it. Fridge is not great, but your food won't spoil. You got one phone. Washer's in the back. Don't overload it, it'll flood. Bed's made, it's a bit squeaky, but you'll get used to that. Fresh linen and towels in the closet. Got any questions? Yeah, yeah, is there any internet? No. Huh. Where's the nearest town? Lunenburg, about four kilometers east. How, how am I supposed to get there? Well, your uncle asked me to find your car. An old fishing buddy of mine sold me his truck. Should be delivered in the morning. Oh, great, thank you. Yeah, thank me when you see it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, how, how am I supposed to reach you? I'll be around, number's on the wall. Oh, I guess this is me. For you. You've got to be kidding me. Fishing. Oh, no, I, I don't fish. This, this, this thing shouldn't be on the road. It's, um, it's not actually Fresh my... bought it, I know. You must be Alec? Yeah. Hey, I'm Cecilia. I know your uncle. He told me that you might be coming. Oh, hey. So are you jet lagged? Um, yeah, a bit. Buy you a coffee? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just around the corner. I Is that going to be all right? Yeah, no, it'll be fine. I don't think anyone's stealing that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. What brought you all the way out here? Well, I just, I just fancy a change, really. It was a, it was a now or never kind of thing. So, what, what do you do? I'm a vet. Oh yeah. Yeah, mostly farm animals. Oh, I wow. moved here after college, and your profession is. I, uh, I fix things. I'm a, a mechanical engineer, so I have an uncanny ability to fix anything electrical. Really? <laughs> you know what? You should put an ad in the local weekly newspaper. It's like the Bible here. Everyone reads it. Oh, yeah. I mean, that would really help me out. I kind of need the money. Uh, they're closed today because they publish tomorrow. But I could maybe get your ad squeezed in. The editor's my neighbor. Yeah? Yeah. That, yeah, that okay. would be great. Thank you. All right, hang on. And, okay, um, <clears throat> what do you want it to say? The healer, Alec Bailey, arrives in Lunenburg. I fix anything electrical that's broken. I'm gonna put your uncle's house as the address. <laughs> the healer. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I had a shop with the same name back home. So. Hello. Hi, Cecilia. Father Malloy, um, this is Alec, Raymond's nephew. He just got here. Oh, hey, welcome to our community. Your uncle's a very generous man. Is he? Will I be seeing you at Sunday Mass? No, uh, I'm, I'm actually a Buddhist. A Buddhist? Yeah. And how'd that come about? More just like how you found Jesus, I found Buddha. Where was that exactly? I mean, that you found him. I found... Father, well, give the man a break. He just got here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Good luck with that. I'll see you, Cecilia. Bye. Are you really a Buddha? No. I've been to Thailand now. So, uh, 
Are you married? No. Not? Thank you. Uh, no, I actually happen to like what you like. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> well, that, that's, that's great. I mean, maybe I could take you for dinner or something. N no, I like women. What? Oh, uh, you're a lesbian. Yeah, that's what they call it. Sorry, I didn't, uh... <coughs> Betty, what's up? <coughs> Batman, what is it? What's going on? <laughs> that is so bizarre. Are you good with animals? I don't know. <laughs> well, if the fixing things doesn't work out, then you can always come work with me. I could use the help. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. Beer. Well, I, I didn't mean to, uh, <clears throat> to suddenly stop here. I... Beer. I'm going to need your license and registration. <laughs> I only just moved here. I've been lent this truck. I know who you are. You're uh, a Heacock, Raymond's nephew. Yeah, oh, you, you must know my uncle. Are papers in the vehicle? Yes or no? I'm giving you a citation for parking on the side of the road with no emergency lights and for drinking and driving. Whoa, 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 wait. I, I, was, I was choking on a chip. And I don't give a royal crap. Welcome to Nova Scotia. Oh. And when you speak with your uncle, tell him Tom sends his regards. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, sorry. Um, uh, the front door was open. I hope you don't mind. Uh, we'll just be waiting in the sitting room. What are you all doing here? The ad you placed. The healer? Oh. Oh, uh. Give me a minute. Uh, who, who's, who's first? We are. Great. Uh, how can I help? Well, I have arthritis, and it's getting worse each day. And my husband, well, his hearing is practically shot. So annoying. So, can you help us? So, sorry, there's, <laughs> there seems to be a bit of a mistake here. Uh, but you're a healer, 
Sassoniac? Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's, see, that, uh, it's my con phrase. It's, it's my slogan. Um, I'm, I fix electrical things. Ad says you heal. A healer, Alec, baby. Yes, I am. I fix any wet away. <laughs> No, I, 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 didn't, I didn't say that. Well, it's printed right there. And frankly, we were a bit surprised that uh, you would bring it up this way, being that it's supposed to be a secret. What, a se what, what, what do you mean a secret? So my blood sugar is off the charts. Doctors say I'm going to need insulin at this point. I'm so sick of dieting, it does nothing. Yeah, I'm like a factory of kidney stones, man. One a month, sometimes two. I can feel one coming as of yesterday. Um, this... The ad is, 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 is wrong. I can't, I'm not a healer. I don't kill people. He doesn't want to help us. What? He doesn't want to help us. Why not? Be because I'm not a doctor. What? So you're, you're not the chosen one? What? what are you talking about? Why would you lie like that then? Look, it's a mistake, okay? A misprint. If you have anything electrical, anything at all, I'd be happy to look at it. That's what I do. Uh, my truck broke down. If someone can drive me to see this, I can clear all this up. Didn't you say you fix electrical things? Yeah. Fix your car. So unfair. I really thought my prayers had been answered. I can take you to Cecilia's. If you'll do something for me. Sure. My boyfriend's been procrastinating about asking to marry me. It just needs a little push. So, if I say something that doesn't make much sense when he's around, you just follow my lead? Yeah, I can do that. When do you want me to do that? Now. He's the one who brought me here. So, Philip, this is Alec. We go way back. How long has it been, Alec? A while. Gosh, it doesn't feel that way. It's amazing how, for a woman, first impressions with a man are just so important. I was lucky. You were so sweet, Alec. So gentle. How l l long are you staying? Uh, a year. A whole year? That is so great! One day we should go swimming at the lake, like we used to. Remember that time my mom nearly caught us butt naked? We hid for a no, whole hour no, behind no. him. I don't, I don't remember that. It's fine, Alec. Philip understands. We all have pasts. Right, hon? Sure. See you soon, Alec. So happy you're here. Call me anytime. Hey. Hey. What? Mm, mm, mm. Nothing. They've misprinted the ad. <laughs> hey, this isn't funny. But I've already had four potential clients in my house. One with arthritis, one deaf, some nut job waitress, and some dude running a kidney yeah, stone. I am so sorry. I will have them reprint it, but it won't be out till next week. I've only been here two days. I got a ticket yesterday for $250 by this jerk of a policeman. Wait, Tom? Tom pulled you over? Tom's ex-wife had a crush on Raymond, and rumor has it they had a thing, so Tom tries to make your uncle's life impossible when he's here. Great. Well, then now I'm the target, aren't I? <gasps> what is it with you and animals? My dog loves you, the sheep are following us. It's... Well, I think you've got some strange animals. Now, I wanted to ask you, um... I know it's cheeky, but the other day, were you serious about the job offer? Yeah, of course. Great. What do I, when, when do I start? What do I? Right now. I can't believe it. What was that? Just follow me. Oh my God. What, 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 what? This cow's been having difficulty since yesterday in constant pain. Oh, what's, what's wrong with her? She's pregnant. Um, you think she's gonna lose um, the, the baby? No, I think it's about to happen right now. Okay. You're giving birth? 
Yeah. I, I think I think I should probably just give her some privacy. Alec, grab the gloves. Do you want a job or not? Grab the gloves. Alec, come on. Okay. Okay. Mm. Easy, bro. Oh my god. What are those sticks coming out of her tunnel? The legs. Okay, we're gonna pull. Ready? <clears throat> Ready? Go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. You know, it's it's not usually like that. It's actually. I don't actually... want to talk about it. Okay. Just the way she was staring at me. I'm so sorry. I'm so. I'm Seriously. so sorry. <laughs> Some visitors. No, I have more clients. Mr. Bailey, can you see us now? Frank, Leslie, what's this about? My little Rebecca Cecilia, you know what's wrong. She's nearly five, and she hasn't spoken for the past year. I am so sorry. The ad was misprinted. He isn't some kind of healer. You're not the healer? No, no, I fix electrical things, not people. Well, can you at, at least try? Let's see. Hang on. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and, and sorry, fix sorry. this. Um, I'm so sorry. I'll see you tomorrow at 10. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to make the year. I want a word with you. How dare you come to this peaceful community and try to scam these people? The hell are you talking about? A healer? Is that the best ploy you could come up with? Look, it was a mistake, all right? They misprinted the ad. Ah, baloney. I know how these schemes work. Now you got the whole town talking about it. Of course you say it's a mistake. What the hell are you talking about? Look, I'm telling you, the ad is bullshit. Hey, don't use foul language with me. Well, then listen to me and help me tell these people that I'm not a healer. Oh, come on. OK, go. As we can see, the oak trees and forests are thick with mosses, so moist from the spring. Sounds like a bad argument. Oh, and propagate your publicity. No, sir, I'm going to report you to the authorities. You know what? Get off my property and give me a headache. Your uncle will be ashamed of you. Don't you walk away from me. I'm talking to you. Don't touch me. Help me. Laura, check it out. Oh my god. Is that Father Malloy? You die on me! Oh my god. He murdered Father Malloy. What's he doing? He's probably gonna bury him. Dear Jesus. Let's get out of here. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, 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 oh my gosh. That guy's an animal. Oh my God. I go to the log camera. Let's go see Tom. Oh. <sighs>
I didn't know you were the healer. I just saw the ad. Where's the newspaper office? I need to talk to them. And would you like special juice of the day? It's blackberry apple. Oh, sure. Larry, would you like to try the juice of the day? It's blackberry Why apple. Why are you screaming at me? And we grand Mary. Larry, can you hear me? Yeah, what is it? Larry, you got your hearing back. I think I have. And I didn't have any pain this morning. I thought it was just a lucky break. Dear Jesus. <laughs> they say Leslie's daughter is like a chatterbox after they saw Alec. Oh. I'm going to get my blood tested. Maybe I'm better too. Yeah. <laughs> You all really think that he's the one? He must be the one. Yeah. Would you like some coffee, honey? I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't mm -hmm. happen all once. No, no thanks. <laughs> hey, guys! Look, that's him! Come on, let's go. Uh, yeah, it's, it's over there. Where is he? We printed what we were told. Bullshit! Now, I need you to put a clear message in tomorrow saying you made a mistake. We don't print again until next Tuesday. Okay. Make an exception. This, this, oh, this whole my thing is dear man. Thank you so very much. I can hear. I never should have doubted you. Oh, I haven't had any pain since yesterday. And Rebecca is doing so well. You are a blessing to this town. <laughs> has my blood sugar corrected itself? I don't buy this crap. There are no healers, and this guy has no powers. This is ridiculous, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, someone with some common sense here. Oh, my God. Philip, your stutter, it's gone. My stutter? My stutter is gone. <laughs> You're not doing so bad. How much are you charging? <clears throat> How much do we owe you? Nothing. Nothing. You know why? Because real healers, they don't exist. Next week, He's gonna print that I'm Superman, but I'm still not gonna be able to friggin' fly! I just wanna be left alone! But he heals people. There you are! You're almost two hours late. Look, I've got a great excuse, okay? That you still want me to work for you or not. Yeah. Sure. Great. Yeah. Well, then who's giving birth today? Anyone? I know that you've had some bad luck since you got here. Bad luck? This place is a living nightmare. The people here are crazy. And I've got this constant blistering headache and... What? It's my birthday. <sighs> Happy birthday, Alec. Do you like Pinot Noir? It's really beautiful here. Oh, you finally noticed. See, it's not all bad. Thank you for this. Happy birthday, Alec. So, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> uh, no. No? Not at the moment. But if you're wrong about all of this, I was thinking, you know, I I bet if, if we didn't experiment, you, you and I, and... <gasps> I like, kissed you. Oh. Maybe you might change your mind. Hmm. You, you don't think? Yeah. Interesting. Um, I think that we should do an experiment before. Okay. Where maybe you kiss Fred. Um. And see if you Fred. change your mind. Ouch. <laughs> Am I that bad? Yeah. <laughs> you know what is weird? What? Rebecca, that couple's child, just started talking after she met you. From what I hear, you're having some sort of effect on people. It's just people in this town, they're just looking for an excuse to wake up from their boring existence and find miracles where there are none. That little girl was about to speak, I know it. Alex Bailey, we have you surrounded. Get down on your knees with your hands behind your head. Tom, is that you? Cecilia, Cecilia, get away from him, he's dangerous. Alex! Ah, get down on your knees with your hands behind your head. I won't tell you again. Get down on your knees. Look, it's a ticket. I'm gonna pay it. Ah! Are you oh insane? Oh, 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 oh. Safety on. Are you out of your mind? What are you doing? Alec Bailey, you are under arrest for the murder of Father Malloy. What? Anything that you say will be held against you Wait, in a court what? of law. What? 
I didn't kill anyone. He had a heart attack, and I left him at the church. Oh, you are one cynical bastard. We, we had the whole thing on videotapes, Cecilia. He's, he's killed him, and now he's probably buried him somewhere. He walked on his own two feet into the church. He's got to be somewhere, Tom. We have an eyewitness. We have, we have video footage of him pounding on the poor man. Where is the body? There is no body. He's out there. Just go and find him. Bottom Malloy is nowhere to be found. Are you that stupid? I mean, even his car is still at your property. Cecilia, I didn't do anything. Find Father Malloy, Cecilia. I'm innocent. Now, what do we got here? What, what is that? It's a shovel. What's he doing? Now listen up. He's probably going to bury him. And you tell me at the end of it if you think that Father Malloy is still alive. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. No, not... Listen, there, there has to be some sort of logical explanation. The man's not an assassin. Then where's the priest? He took the body, he put it in the back of his truck, and he took it somewhere. I mean, this man is a sick, cruel bastard, and you are just lucky that he didn't hurt you too. What's gonna happen to him? NSPD is coming down to pick him up in the morning. This is Major. Let me talk to him. <laughs> Please, Tom. Please, let me talk to him. Five minutes. And don't you dare get close. Five. Did you find him? No, I looked for him everywhere. Fred's looking too. What's gonna happen to me? They're taking you to a Halifax prison. Did you speak to a lawyer? No, no, I don't, I don't want a lawyer. This is serious, I, I didn't do anything. He had a heart attack at my house. I managed to get him in the truck. I drove him to town and then he, he woke up and he walked into the church. What? I just watched the video. Father Malloy looks very dead. Yeah, tell me about it. He freaked me out, I thought, You don't believe me, do you? No, I do, I do. It's just so implausible what he would just get up and walk away after all that. It yeah, just... you do. I believe you, Alec. I'm just trying to... Just get out. What? I will find Father Malloy. You want a shovel? <laughs> so... You, uh, want to use the bathroom before I lock up for tonight? Yeah. <clears throat> Father Malloy was my very good friend. Tom. Hey, Pete. How you doing? Good. Good, good. You? good, 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 good. Who would have thought you'd have any of this going on in Lunenburg, huh? <laughs> the guy's from Britain, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Still have to figure it out where we'll find the body. No, no, we'll, we'll find the body. We mm -hmm. have Al Capone here. He's the best dog I got, let me tell you. And this mm -hmm. boy will sniff out things other dogs only dream of finding. Hey, <sighs> am I free to talk? Oh, free! Whoa. Whoa, 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 hands on your head now. I will spray the shit out of you, hey, boy. Okay. How did you get free and get out here? The door was open, my cuffs were loose. Bullshit! Henry, Henry, Henry let, let Al Capone go. Get him, boy. Go get him. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Lindbergh, police. Him grabbing the dog. 
Tom? Damn it, man. Not now, Jim. I need you to get on the ground slowly, or I will put a bullet through your head. Tom, I'm sorry, but it's Father Malloy on the phone for you. I told you. Shut up, and don't move. Who is this? But we, we saw a video where you, right. What the hell have you done, Tom? Thank you. He's innocent. Oh, my God. That was Father Malloy calling to confirm it. He's, he's fine. What the hell's wrong with you, all of you? I told you I was innocent. What the hell have you done now, Tom? <laughs> you saw the video? I mean, th there was no way he was still alive. We all saw the video, Tom. What are you, Steven Spielberg now? <laughs> okay, there's, there's more footage. I mean, look, watch this. Let's go, Henry. Pete, don't waste my time again, Tom. You, uh... Want a coffee with one of those little cookies you like? Shut up. Father Malloy. Where the hell were you? They put me in jail thinking you were dead. I know. I'm sorry. I came as soon as I heard. Well, you didn't come soon enough, did you? I'm sorry for not believing in you. Wait, what? I have a confession to make. I lost my faith about two years ago. I actually stopped believing that God could exist. Wait, wait and you, you accuse me of lying to these people. I didn't have a heart to tell the community, so I just kept playing my role, which is what I was, the priest. But I died yesterday. I'm sure of it. And nothing should have brought me back. And yet... Look, when I moved to Lunenburg, I heard stories. Rumors. Healers. I just dismissed it as... nonsensical myths. Well, <laughs> I... I believe... You have a gift, a God-given gift, which brought me back and gave me a second chance. Are you, are you serious? I got my faith back. I want to thank you for that. Alec, son, there's no denying it. You are a healer. And I'm done. I am done. You are... You're all clinically insane here. I'm...
It's your destiny. Hello, Alec. It's you. We need to talk. It's a lot to take in. What the hell's going on here? Why'd you have my name on the wall? Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. <laughs> what is this place? Who are these people? These are your ancestors. That one there, behind you, was the last one chosen. It's my father. Is this some kind of religious sect? You have the family gift, the gift of healing. It skips a generation. Oh, my God. You're all insane. Alex, since you've been here, you've helped a young girl find her speech. An old man is here. It wasn't me. Father Malloy died and is back. I've seen the video. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do anything. I didn't, I didn't even touch those people. You don't have to touch them. If you're nearby and someone's meant to be cured, then they will be. Like it or not, you've been chosen. Who chose me? Well, whatever you want to call it. The big chief, Mr. Creator, the supreme being. God. Well, that's the more popular name. I don't believe in God. Well, pick another name. The headaches are part of it, but they'll go away. Why don't we go outside and get some fresh air? Alex. No, no. Stay away from me. Welcome to the family, Alex. <laughs> What's going on? It wasn't a dream. Everything Raywin told you is true. Oh, you, you knew about all this? Throughout all the healers, Cecilia's family has always been among the few who knew. Our two families are connected. Why me? I thought it was worth a shot. If it wasn't to be you, at least I would have helped you. Help me? You gave me two days. The gift can only be activated, per se, when the Chosen One is here. And on his 30th birthday. I just turned 30. Alec, have you recently noticed that animals are fascinated with you? This morning, when you were detained, how did you get out? The handcuffs, they were, they were loose. The, the, the door just opened. It is written the healer will not be bound by any man. He will be free. But we made up the name for the shop in London, the healer. Yes, that was a bit strange. But possibly more than a coincidence? Oh, and then the ad in the paper, was that also a coincidence? No, I misprinted that on purpose. Why would you do that? I did what I had to do, Alec. Do I have a choice in any of this? Yes. Yes, you do. Tonight, the day after your birthday, you must decide. Unless you reject the gift before midnight, it is bound to you for life. Well, I don't want it. Alec, you could help so many people. I don't want anything to do with this. <laughs> Alex, listen. This is what we're going to do. We'll leave you to think about it. You've got about six hours. We'll be back before midnight. And then what? Oh, will sacrifice a goat and bleed me in its blood. Is that right? <laughs> That's always an option. No, Alec. Midnight will come. And if you decide to accept, we'll open a good bottle of wine to celebrate. What do you think? I think it went quite well. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's nearly midnight. I don't want it. I never chose any of this. Alec, I think that you're making a mistake. Well, that's my final answer. You know what? Charlie would have wanted it. Don't you dare talk about my brother. Why not? It's the truth. He should have been the next healer. He had a sense of responsibility. Responsibility? He didn't even know you existed. And where were you when my mother died, huh? I loved my sister. I just couldn't show myself. That's bullshit. We keep it secret until the time is right. That's the way it works. Well, this is the way it works on my end. I'm not going to play Harry Potter for you both. So what happens now? I go back to London, you don't pay my debts, right? No, no, I'm a man of my word. But you do have to remain here for a full year. You do realize that you can't take this back. Please, I don't want it. I need you to go into town. Now? Yes. Everyone's gathered in the church. They're waiting for you. It's tradition. They think I've accepted the gift. They wanted you to. Just never ends, does it? It will. After you've told them your decision. Fine. I'll go. I'll go with you. It'll be easier. really necessary. They're all waiting. Everyone. Children, too. Yeah, but they're gonna, they're gonna hate me. Why, why can't you just tell them? It's the least that you could do, don't you think? Sure, sweet. Sure, sweet. everyone. Uh, I know that it's late, but Alec has been kind enough to come and talk to us. Um, look, I'm, I'm sorry to say that um, I, I won't be your either. Look, this, this whole thing has been so, so strange and, um, and unexpected. I, I, I just can't handle it. So, <clears throat> help you all understand and, uh, I'll be, I'll be gone by next spring, so. We must respect Alec's decision. This wasn't easy on him. Also, we must be grateful for the gifts he did give us the past couple days. I know I am. Thank you, Alec, for Rebecca. She, she talks so much, I, I want to shut her up. <laughs> <laughs> and I've forgotten how annoying my wife's voice is when she's yelling at me. <laughs> Just got my test back. Sugar's back to normal. Thank you, Alec. First time peeing without praying the rosary. <laughs> Thanks, man. I lost my stutter. I can't thank you enough. I'd like to show it off by sharing with you all, loud and clear, that Mary and I are engaged. <laughs> Settle down. Settle down. Alec, you're part of this community. And we cherish your stay here regardless of your decision. Thank you. Ooh. Girls?
This is from all of us. Sorry we got you in trouble. It's a little late, but happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Um, thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Mr. Bailey? Yeah. We came because our daughter's very sick. Look, I cleared all this up yesterday at the meeting. We're not from here. We've driven from far away to see you. I can't help your daughter. She has cancer. Doctors say there's no cure. I'm sorry that your daughter's so sick. Please. You just come out and take a look. I'm going to ask you politely to please leave my property. I've been harassed enough as it is. It's been a seven-hour drive. She's waiting outside. Please, please, just leave. Abigail, come on, sweetheart. we got to go. It wasn't the perfume, it wasn't my great cooking. It was jealousy that woke the idiot. Well, congratulations. I love him so damn much, I miss his stutter. I'm going to the bathroom. I'm Abigail. You talk to my parents? No, I, I can't help you. Of course you can. I'm dying. You can eat that piece of bacon? I used to love eggs and hate bacon. After being zapped to bits by all the crap they put into me, I hate eggs and love bacon. Go figure. No, I'm sorry you're so sick. Help no, sucks. Oh, don't worry, it's not contagious. <clears throat> Look, Abigail, I'm not a healer. Healers don't exist, Alec. This is what we're gonna do, you and me. We're gonna hang out for the weekend. That's how long we're here in Lunenburg. And... Look, my parents drove me here seven hours. I didn't want to come. You know why I said yes? Why? They really believe that you have a good shot at carrying me. Don't call me by my name if you're going to patronize me. Listen, they just realized that I'm talking to you. My parents have gone through so much shit because of me. Three hospitals, four years living in a suitcase. So this is my gift to them. I, I can't. Yes, you can, because you don't even have to do anything. I'm not this nasty all the time. It's two days. Then I'm gone, and when I die, they won't complain. Darling, don't bother this man. Guess what? Alex reconsidered. He will try to cure me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, Mom, Dad, Alec can't promise this is going to work. Uh, we don't. It, it's OK. So me and him, we're going to spend most of the weekend together. That's how it works. Right, Alec? Yeah. Yep. 
That's, uh, that's how, how it works. Oh, my God. Oh. So, where are we gonna go? Just to work. I work for a vet. Cool. I love animals. Yeah? Yeah, doctors never allowed me to get a dog. Now I'm allowed, but I wouldn't do that to him. If you feel sorry for me, I will kick you where it hurts. I... <sighs> what? Hey, it's not mine. Uh-huh. Just get in. Celia, this is Abigail. We're, um, we're gonna hang out together for the weekend. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Hi, sorry for just showing up like this. Alec will explain, but basically, my parents think he has a shot at carrying me, so we're faking it. I told her she could help out around the farm. Oh, yeah, I wanna be a vet too. Awesome. <laughs> is that a border collie? Yep, his name is Batman. I love them. I'm, I'm sorry, I should have... <sighs> she begged me. No, of course, it's fine. Yeah. She looks some kind of gift to her parents so they don't lose hope, so... She seems nice. Yeah. It's cancer, though. It's not gonna make it. Diagnosed. Third of April, four years ago. You must have been in shock. Not really. I mean, I was lucky because my doctor at the time was very cool. He refused to call it cancer, said there were too many bad connotations with the word. My diagnosis was a bad case of marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> like that. So, you two have a thing going? No. No. Please. No, really, we don't. We're just friends. It's not what Batman told me. <laughs> <coughs> Are you okay? No. I have terminal marshmallow. How about I take you back? That'll be good. In my dose of oxygen. All right, so I'll be seeing you both tomorrow? Thanks. Love it here. What a me. What? You like her, don't you? She's beautiful. Yes, she is. But um, it's uh, it's not possible. Why? Because you work for her. You keep a secret. Cecilia likes women. Oh, bullcrap from Mars. No, she doesn't. She does. Look, 
I know lesbians, and Cecilia is not one. Oh, what, so you're an expert, are you? My sister's a lesbian, and yes, I am. Oh, you're a sister? Yeah, she's 25, and she's a mega lesbian, which makes me an expert. She's lying. Why she's lying to you? It's a whole other matter. Wait, 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 what do you mean? Just get in. I need to ask you a question. Are you drunk? This is one question. Okay. Could I have saved her? Abigail. Could I have killed her? I don't know, Alec. Please, no, don't say that. Could I have killed Charlie? Charlie? Charlie, he's my brother, Charlie. He died in Marshmallow. I can't wish her die. Why don't you come inside? Yeah, he was the smart one. He, he was the one. He came up with the hero idea. It wasn't, it wasn't just one stupid thing. He was gonna... He, we had 20 stories, right? He was... I'm so sorry, Alec. When he died, Everything died. He was my everything. Can I get the gift back? You heard, Raymond. I had some loss. Please. I knew me sick. Okay, why don't you come inside? No, She'll be all right. Hey there. Hi. Where's Alec? He asked me to pick up Abigail. It's fine, Mom. She's the vet. OK, well, we'll see you at 6. OK, bye. Have a good time, sweetheart. Good? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Bye, baby. Did you get some good sleep last night? Yep. Alec tells me you're into chicks. <laughs> what? I promised him not to tell you. I said I'd buy it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I kind of told him that so that he wouldn't hit on me. I knew it. 
He's cute. Yeah, he is cute. So why don't you want him to hit on you? Well, he has quite the reputation. He is a hothead. Oh yeah? Yeah, his uncle actually warned me. Oh, uh, so last night Alec actually fell asleep at my place. All right, now we're talking. No, he was drunk and he fell asleep. Mm-hmm. Seriously, I'm not kidding. You'll see for yourself. Okay. I hope heaven's just like this. Me too. What about you, Alec? Um, I'm not sure. That's one shitty answer. <laughs> well, if there is a heaven, then... If? Well, what do you think happens when you die? Anybody in your family died? All of them. Oh. My, um, my twin brother, he had what you have. What's his name? Charlie. When? A few years ago. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie must be so pissed off at you. Why? Why? For thinking that he just went poof and ceased to exist. You're an idiot, Alec Bailey. <laughs> Is that the reason you lost your smile? Maybe. Come here. Promise when I get to heaven, I'll send you a message. Oh, yeah? Probably scared the crap out of you. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Sucks that the weekend's over. I wish I would have told my parents it took a month for this to work. A month? No thanks. <laughs> now we're gonna go to Give Me Some Love in a classic back Stop the truck! What? Alex, stop the face. truck, I need to get out! Are you okay? Just stop, stop the truck! Just right, stop, right, it. Right, stop, right, stop it! Right, stop it! Right, You gonna give me another ticket? Hi, Uncle Tom. Hey there, sweetie. Everything okay here? The best. Did you come here a sec? Why? Just come here. seen him this happy for, well, a long time.
say goodbye in front of my parents. I hate goodbyes. So, rule number one, no one gets emotional. Deal? Deal. Deal. I wrote you guys a poem. Don't worry, it's really short. It's called Just Breathe. We all at some point stop breathing. What if we lived one breath at a time? We speak as though breathing is easy, because it is innate. Is that a cool word or what? <laughs> Half the time, we don't even notice our breath. When did breathing become the uncool kid that all the other body parts ignored? Think about the phrase, catch your breath. You have to catch it because you've lost control of it. Alec and Cecilia, find control over your breath. And please, live for me like tomorrow's your last day. Cecilia, we made a deal. Thanks, Alec. I thought this was gonna be good for my parents, but it's been incredible for me also. Well, it was, uh, it was special for me too. Dear Jesus, he showed his feeling. Trust me on this, Alec. Charlie's in a better place and he just wants you to be happy. Um, I'll take you back. Please, I can see my parents from here. <sighs> oh, one more thing. She lied. She's not into chicks. And I lied. I don't have a sister. Bye. What? Hmm? Hold, hold on a minute. <laughs> Wait. Why did you lie? Your uncle said that you were a loose wire and that you would try and get in my pants. Oh, you're pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? You asked me out three minutes into meeting me. He's unbelievable. I'm going to have to have a word with him. Yeah, well, you might want to talk to him today since he's leaving tomorrow. Well, wait, he's still here. Yeah, he's at your house or his house. I need to talk to him. Come on. I'm down here. One or two things I have to do, then I'll be gone. I want my gift back. What? <laughs> well, it's a bit late for that. Why the sudden change of heart? It doesn't matter why. I just I made a mistake, and now I want it back. Alec, I made it very clear. I know what you said about my birthday and, and midnight, but it, it's got to be some other way. I don't make the rules. Well, who does? Who, who do I have to convince? Well, Alec, that would be the one you don't believe in. I'm just an ant on this planet. It's got to be some kind of clause, like a time span or something. I'm afraid not. There isn't, Alec. I, w I was... I was freaking out, OK? I didn't, I didn't know what I was, was doing. I had sheep following me. You made your choice. 
choice. I'm sorry, how was I supposed to suddenly just accept that I had some weird superpower? I didn't have any time to, to, to understand and, and, to, and to reflect, and now I know I can help, so I want it back. Too late. You told me I was the healing. Where's my frame? I took it down. We didn't need it anymore. You overplayed me like a puppet. I should have known about this from the start. Wait, that's not the way that it works. I'll bullshit I... with how it works, not how it works. A little honesty, and maybe I would have made the right choice. Wait. Don't touch me! You could have stopped this. Maybe I could have saved other you. It's not up to us anymore. You'd better leave him be. What are you doing? The place is closed at this hour. Well, I'll open it. I need to go in there. What's going on? How do I talk to him? Who? Him, him, your boss, him. God? Yeah. You just talk. He listens. Look, can you just do it for me? No, I can't do that. Hey, look, you owe me. You're right. I do. But this, you gotta do alone. Just close the door when you're done. Thank you. Actually, actually, you know what? What kind of a thing are you, huh? I mean, if you're good like you say you are, then why do you let young people get sick and die, huh? Why don't you start by answering me that? I mean, Abigail, are you serious? Are you that perverse? She's 14 years old. Now you give me back my gift. I swear. If you let Abigail die, I'll curse the day you ever existed. Charlie, Charlie, if you're up there, punch this idiot in the face for me. I want it back! <laughs> well, that's a bit of a number on her. I know. My wife had me convinced about another. Hey, here, let me give you something. Oh, no, 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 please. You Don't sure? Worry. Yeah. Beers on me. All right, buddy. Tom. See ya. Later. Hey. Hey. How are you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I, uh... I bought you a gift. Um, they're forget-me-nots. I figured that they could be a symbol of renewed friendship or something. And now it feels really cheesy to have bought them. <laughs> I'm really... 
really sorry about how it all played out. But there was no need to lie all the time. Your uncle asked me to. Hey, you'll say you're a lesbian. <laughs> um, about Abigail, I... Please, um... I blamed you, Abigail. And... And I'm sorry. Look, I'm an idiot, all right? I was always going to make the wrong choice, so... Alex, she wrote us a letter. What? It's one of the reasons that I got the courage to come and see you today. What's it say? I don't know. I wanted to read it with you. Here's your phone. Oh, five or six. Okay. Come on, seven, four. Yeah? Ab Abigail, oh. it's Alec and, and Cecilia. Hi. What took you guys so damn long? You were supposed to call me. I I'm so sorry. We just opened your letter. So, how are you both? Fine. Yeah, we're, we're fine. How, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. So, I have some news, guys. Right. Okay. Well, turns out about a year ago, I was put on palliative care. Bottom line, it's like a death sentence because the chemotherapy was no longer working. Right. But? But what? When I got back, I bumped into the marshmallow doctor I told you about. He was surprised that I looked so healthy, so I want to try to be deaf. You won't believe this. Some kind of weird remission. Wait, what does that wait, mean? Wait, 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 what, what is that? What, what's some kind of weird remission? I know, I know, I didn't understand it either. Well, A, somehow the cancer's going away. B, they're gonna give me a treatment to get rid of what's still there. And C, I'm not gonna die. And I'll be there for Christmas. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Alec? Yeah? You should tell everyone you cured me. Take the credit. My parents are convinced it was you. I... Oh, and get ready, because they're sending over three baskets of fruit. Spoiler alert, don't touch the apples. They suck. <laughs> All right. Listen, I've got to go. Call me. Oh, yes, and uh, say hi to your sister for us. <laughs> oh, and Cecilia? You haven't kissed this idiot by now? Just hurry up and do it. Love you guys. Bye. <clears throat> this is unbelievable. I'm just gonna get some water. Get back to sleep. Oh. You scared the crap out of me. What are you doing here? It is my house. No, I had something to do in the basement. 
Can I ask you a question? Hmm? When your father found out he was a healer, did he... Did he accept the gift immediately? No. No, he didn't. He didn't want the gift. But then something happened to make him change his mind. What happened? Frankly, Alec, that is now none of your business. She's not going to die, you know. Abigail, the uh, little girl, she, uh, she's in remission. Really? Well, that is good news. <laughs> Bye, Alec. Oh, Alec. Ever notice anything odd about yourself? Since you've been gone When you were young And you were ill It don't take much To feel out of touch These magical gifts We laugh and we play We never forget what you told us one day We take a fun serious dreams come true sky's always blue that we can laugh and that we can play forget for one day when luck went away oh i can still fly yes i can still swim when we're together we become stronger no one surrenders we can fight we will prevail the hearts of so many seriously ill children all over the world. Together we fight, together we sing, we tell the world the things that you said that are new. 